tonight's part one of 50 of Tony Neal Tale. I spent Friday night with a vet, stumbling home before the clock ticked over to Saturday, but not laying me down to sleep before a 48th of Saturday had officially passed. I, I sighed. I'd asked Jean to come out with me, but she declined, reminding me that we had a longish drive the next day. And I'd responded, it's not like we're going to be out late. Home by nine, ten tops. If Jean had come with, my prognostications may have occurred as predicted, but without her governing hand, I stayed a bit later than I'd planned. I backed the car into the garage, date my hound's tooth on the back of a kitchen chair, checked emails, lumbered up the 16 steps that separate our first from second floor, run the electric around the pearlies, and flopped into the California King I shared with my beloved, still wearing the clothes in which I had cavorted. Tired, I fell asleep without praying the good Lord my soul to keep. They had been long, and the weekend promised more late nights. Saturday, I managed to sleep in, not climbing out of bed until nearly 5 o'clock. I reached over and pat Jean's arm, gently so as not to wake her, before sloshing my way to the sideboard of our waterbed, draping my legs over the edge and struggling a bit to rise up from its 19 inch above the floor height. For the umpteen thousand time, I flirt with the idea of replacing the H2 Oasis with a standard higher off the ground bed, but inertia and the comfort of all reliable continue to outweigh the difficulties that getting in and out of bed presents to my 57 year old doddering self. I managed to descend the 16 steps and get a pot of coffee started before hitting the powder room and then firing up the computer for a little work. Right until 6, 6.30, I said to myself, then do a little stretch and strength and hit the bike around sunup. 5 o'clock somehow turns into 7.15 and Jean's feet on the stairs cause me to avert my eyes from the screen and watch as her long, lean, lycra-clad legs materialize from the heavens. Hey, you're up, I observed, standing to greet her, the astuteness of my deductive reasoning resonating like Herculo Perot. Yeah, I said I was going to go at 8 o'clock. You going to do something before we go? She asked, briefly kissing my offered lips. Yeah, I answered, going to stop here in just a second, get moving. I paused, tapped the top of the computer, and asked, you want some coffee? Please. Cool, I'll make you some. Just one mug full, put it in a to-go container. Sounds good, thanks. Jean goes back upstairs to gather her necessaries for OTF class and returns as the pot stops dripping. George Bush died, she announces wistfully as her right foot hits the hardwood of the first floor. Oh yeah, saw that on CNN. 41 went to be with Barbara. That's, well, I guess not sad, but what, wistful? Yeah, it was time. 94 years old. A lot of people saying a lot of nice things about him. Still planning to blow this popsicle joint no later than 10? Yep, should be home by 9.30 latest, she says, bussing me quickly before heading toward the garage. Drive gently, I respond. If I'm not home when you get here, I'll be right back. I'm going to go for a bike ride. Okay, thanks. Good idea. See you soon.